Okay, so I'm going to just kind of walk through top-level strategy stuff to <laughs> most stable, consistent party comp, as though you all have not played at all, even though some of you have considerable experience and some of you have nearly none. So I'm just going to assume everyone has basically none and hasn't really watched any videos, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So Onslaught just basically ups the spawns a lot and does custom spawns for finales. And the biggest change to the composition is hordes. Hordes have a lot of shielders in it when they don't obviously have any normally. And that's probably the most substantial change to par enemy compositions. The big deal with party comps is the I would say the backbone of just about every onslaught plus anything party is Witch Hunter Captain with Merc. The Merc is more optional than WHC. Neither of them are essential. In other words, you can beat them without it, but either, and especially both, make it a lot easier because they're one temp health generators, like they're complete engines, um, and two, they both have really powerful saving ults. And the more saving ults you have, the more get-out-of-jail-free cards you have as a party. So basically, unless we're doing some special strategy, we start by saying who's playing Merc and who's playing WHC. The loadouts matter a little bit less for those characters. Like, like the specifics aren't as, as essential. It's not nailed down. Um, but generally, BB, Blunderbuss is by far the best range option. I mean, there's going to be some weird comps where you'd want something else. Um, and it's either crossbow or bop for WHC. Crossbow is a little more stable for low ammo maps if he's like the only guy sniping specials, but only if you have a lot of experience. Else it's either headshot on ammo and headshot bop or ammo and crit bop. Preferably ammo and headshot if you can handle the headshots. Okay, so why don't we just establish right that right now? Who wants to play WHC? Who wants to play Merc? I don't mind playing anyone. Uh, I can play the bird. Okay, so that's settled. So for the rest, there's a lot you can do. And if you look at what WHC and Merc bring to the table, uh, is our Merc going to bring Halberd or something a little more stable, less damage-y? Uh, I was Halberd. Okay, so that w WHC is very flexible. He usually kind of plays what we call the flex role, huge, or the third position. His job is generally special sniping and kind of rotating to the back to take care of uh, onesie twosie, what we call a leak, enemies coming from somewhere other than the front lines. Um, and then Merc usually kind of plays in the two position, not actually necessarily sitting in the front meleeing stuff unless there's super armor. Usually kind of standing like right behind that, either shotgun bashing for ammo and some damage and control, or shotgunning if there is a lot of density to you can get a lot of value out of, especially maulers um, and berserkers. So that's that's kind of the heart of most parties. So then you ask yourself, okay, so that takes care of a lot of business, but what's not taken care of? You can have the Merc or the WHC play the what we call the one position. The one position is the guy in the front, kind of taking the brunt of it. And it's usually good if he's also very good against um, Chaos Warriors. So what's really good there? Zealot's really good there. Slayer's really good there. Those are like the two premier options. You can run other things. Right, other than the, than the backbone, the WHC Merc, and you can open up other things. And again, WHC or Merc can play it. Um, so what do I think, for example, about running Cowers build right now as the one position? I hate it. Right? Because what does Flamethrower want to do when there's density? It wants to pull out Flamethrower. But that means he's not doing the job of stepping up in front and taking aggro. That's usually the one's job. So. What Cowher is actually playing is actually probably better off as like a flexible four position. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah. So four is the guy in yep. the back who takes advantage of all of the space that's being made and tends to be like a range DPS powerhouse, or it could be something like Waystalker, who occasionally will, will do spikes of range DPS, but mostly that's about po uh, shooting specials. Uh, so yeah, I... the, the flamethrower thing you can play as a one position. I. I'm not set on flamethrower, I'm just uh, looking at my loadout and trying to figure out what I 
want to play. I'm actually not all that, um, how do you say it, uh, confident with the flamethrower. Go Slayer. So, if you like Slayer, I go can Slayer. go Slayer. Um, so there's things you can play. Pick or two-handed hammer is usually really good options because it just murders Chaos Warriors. Um, and then usually like two-handed hammers or two uh, dual hammers or something like that for a crowd control option. There's other things you can run. Like I usually run dual, dual-handed, two-handed hammers and just murder my hands with you canceling. Like there's not one possible build. There's a lot of flexibility. Um, and we can, you know, we can micro exactly what your build needs to be, but that's not really that important. There's a lot of options. WHC has temp HP on spe like taggable kill, right? On the tier 15? Uh, yes. Okay, that's the B key. So the other thing to consider is if you're not bringing the WHC, you won't really work on inspirational as opposed to on cooldown. But if you have that, you want cooldown, or unless you really, really like the get up. Uh, um, I think cooldown is better. Say again? Uh, cooldown is better, right? It depends. In this okay. instance, I like cooldown, but there's some people who really like get up, and I, I don't think it's wrong. Yeah, I just feel it. like <sighs> cooldown can be more versatile and more crowd control. Is... I just don't like cooldown. I just don't like get up. So, in the fourth, so this is kind of like a standard, what we call kind of like a phalanx party, meaning that we play really tight together. One is clearly the one who steps kind of forward. There's a huge, I'll, I'll probably stick with this just because it's such a, it's so good for the party. Um, so what, what kind of happens here is the Slayer plays forward to the rest of the party. If there's a pack master or something, he does not back down. He gives it his best shot to make his own space and dodge, and if he fails, look how many saving ults we have. There are three of them, plus Conflag. Even if you get packed into five Chaos Warriors, we're going to save you. The only way the team gets screwed, and let's start a map, the only way you, the team gets screwed is if Cower gives ground. Right? Yep. He just needs to basically trust to the team. The Merc in the two position, you're looking for blunderbuss value most of the time, except when they're Chaos Warriors or something like this. So you, you're actually going to have your blunderbuss out probably 70-80% of the time during combat. Okay. You should be either right-clicking or left-clicking most of the time, and you'll get tons of kill. Um, we can even just do Bell. Super trivial. Um, and again, the WHC should be kind of floating. Sometimes, if there's nothing else to do, he's behind the front line getting DPS in. If there's any leak from the back, he's looking to the back almost constantly. Like, you should almost be looking back a third of the time. Um, and you're looking to look pick off distant stormers. And sometimes you'll try to pick off kind of mid-rangey specials. It's not a huge, like, it's not a hugely important because we have so much sustain. Like, storm is a big deal because it disrupts our positioning. Gunner can be a big deal, but blah. Um, something I forgot to mention before we get started is Bark Skin is insane when you're running WHC and Merc because the HP sustain is so ridiculous that Boon is completely duplicative. It's not necessary. So Bark Skin is just a huge amount of sustain. So who's on Bark Skin right now? I am. I am. Okay, it's good. I shall be. I'm not sure about the... The, this guy. Uh, the other thing I didn't talk about, because it's not a huge deal, is it's usually nice to have at least one person on Shrap. It doesn't stack anymore, as far as I can tell. Uh, but one person for Shrap is nice, and Proxy is very good. We usually run almost everybody on Proxy, unless somebody has a special reason. I don't think Onslaught's fine. So let's get restarted. <laughs> no big deal. Hopefully I can find where to click. Uh, isn't there a mod that... Uh... Of um, indication if onslaught and the switch is on. Yeah, somebody just literally just made it. I think I just saw it today. Oh, slight trick! It's actually faster to go this way. Rain, did you make it? <laughs> I 
yeah, so proxy is just excellent when you're playing with parties that play well together. Like Lona said, um, where the rat men go, blue goes to flower, Slayer every time. Purple's usually to the Merc. Strength is to the WHC. So we'll pull. We usually take one person, take a shot down here to pull. I'll do it. The way um, alert works is when you pull the trigger on a gun, there's like a radius around you that gets pulled. And then every time a pellet hits, there's a second radius that gets pulled there. We chill up here. We're just going to pull. Don't, don't overcommit. I'm going to chill up here for the first wave. If you can shoot down there, you pull. Alright, that's good. So, like, trying to pick off that leech is just a waste of ammo. Unless you can headshot consistently from that range. Because they'll come to us, and look how many saves we have at Mortal Matter. We have so many saving ults. It, like, especially the WHC can sometimes use his for value. Um, Mark usually wants to sit on his. Let's go here. Going to the right. Let's go murder that. Going forward. Going forward along the wall. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing along the wall as we fight. Let's be called this a scoot. In the case where it gets close, I'll stun all around, and then the Slayer will just go to town. Rage. The stun duration is, for lack of a better word, stupid. Is a heal up there? Looks like we're heading downwards. Master front left? No, overheads, overheads. Yes. So I wanted to wait here for a second because I wanted to show you guys something. Watch, come here. Everybody come up here at once. I'm gonna drop back down a second because I just want you to see something. You can see this already. Drop. They changed this last patch, look what they do. Every single one goes the other way now. So basically, you usually want to fight situations like this with your back to the way you came, not back to the front, if that makes sense, back to the way we're going. Oh, there's another Packmaster. Because if you guys had to retreat, you would retreat into new ads, as opposed to the back where it's basically clear. Does that make sense? Yeah. Send him off the wall, Merc, or WC. There you go. Okay, it's 
course. <laughs> Finish him. Progress, progress. We already had the boss trigger here, so it's like, this is all free progress. We basically want to get close to the ladder as possible, so when we finish this sword, nuke this guy, nuke this guy, and then go through. Straight through, straight through. There's a second one, but I'll suddenly get inside. Go ahead. Merc, ult, please. Second assassin. You want to jump up, Merc, and use your BB to pull as much as possible, as fast as possible. Oh, okay, he already drops. I didn't call the drop. Never, ever, ever drop until the drop's called. I stick to Okay, that happens. That's clear. It's just patrol. We got lucky. Oh, of course it's not lucky. It's guaranteed. What am I saying? Get away from the wall a little bit. Just back in a drop. Murder that one, and then the second one. For the first category and the second one. Slayer should take the pack master if necessary. Good job. Push on the right wall. Follow me! Do you guys want to murder that patrol? For no reason. Obviously completely skippable. Do you guess? Packmaster in there, just tank it, I'll CC you out. It's behind us actually. Go forward, 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 forward. You're fine. He's fine, he's savable. And the assassin just suicide. Very nice. Easily done. It doesn't I'm talking about, like, look how durable that party is. It's ridiculous. Ammo box left. Many monks pulling. Be ready. See that many monks, every shotgun in the world should be like, oh yeah, here's my chance to shine. Assassin's still up. So, the way the game works is if you just had a patrol, if you have a boss or a spawn next, it'll be a, a, bo a boss, not a patrol. Does that make sense? Like, you can't have two bosses in a row or two patrols in a row two triggers in a row. So in Onslaught, since every trigger something spawns in, you can always know if the last one's a boss, the next one's a patrol, vice versa. So they are going to have a second boss over the wall. So we're going to want to kill this, and right as it's over, we're going to push forward as fast as possible, while slaying, to try to get as much time as possible killing the boss. We're also going to use the strength and the blue stuff. 
so the WHC can get as much damage as possible. His target probably should be the Slayer for the... Oh, you don't have Proxy on. But if you had Proxy, you'd share it with him. So we're going. We're rushing as fast as possible. There's a second strength up there. I'll give the, stre the speed as much as best I can. We got monks. Shotgun, be ready for that. Okay, it's patrol. We got all die. We got troll. But make sure you kill the monks first. Don't overcommit on the boss. So make sure you're reloaded as soon as it's down, you know what you're going to do. Finish it, finish it. And then he's going to do the full damage. Get ready to drink your strength. Go, 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 go. And then do your thing in the front. And now it doesn't matter. Leave him alone. Don't try to finish him. Just pull, disengage, disengage, disengage. Coming back to this way a little bit to pull him. And then we're going to sneak around the wall to the right, scooting along the wall. Your position is completely correct, Emerus. You're doing just the thing you should be. Okay, I screwed up a little bit. It's fine. You got tons of ults. Scoot a little away from the troll. Like, the way you should see it is like he's so easy to avoid. And he's so hard to finish off during the horde that you just want to put your and he's slow as hell, so you just want to put distance between yourself and it, and then when you have a chance, you do damage. There's gonna be a gunner of left. Alright, good job. Gotta get that. It's key. It's <laughs> a double. Quad monk, probably. Double. Good blunder busting. We're still gonna drop. There are no more boss triggers this map, so it's just easy for me. We'll go up the left side. Packmaster to the right. Marks. It's double. Good job. Got her behind, it's fine. We can just push forward. That's the other thing, is this party has insane mobility, insane uh, sustain. So running from problems, or even pushing through enemies when there's problems, is a completely legitimate strategy. And not even that terribly difficult to execute. So often what we'll do in a tight situation is either run forward or backwards through enemies to get to the point where we can uh, have all the enemies in one side of us so we're not surrounded. Do you guys have any questions? I mean, you're rocking it. Everything's good. Super smooth. Yeah, I'm kind of like, <laughs> why shouldn't I run in like, Blood Monster Huntsman? Say again? Like, is Huntsman better with Blood no. Monster? It's greedy. There are times that it can be better, but it's less stable is the word I would use. <laughs> This party, this party, let push forward, push forward a little bit. Good. Good, WHC is exactly what he's doing this supposed to, very good. Jeez, in particular, I've noticed your positioning's been pretty good this whole game, which is pretty impressive.
Okay, do you guys know how this event looks in Onslaught? Nope. Okay, so obviously it's a lot more than usual. So let's talk about strat for a second. Uh, or not, because pause doesn't want to work. What the heck? Okay, anyways. When this finishes, what we'll do is I'm going to send the three of you up to the right side. Just go chill up there. Go kill those and chill up there. I'll go kill the other ones and come back to you real quick. Specials will continue. Like, there's special spawns here. After we do the event, there's a double ogre. A, a burst wave and then a double ogre. It's no big deal, though, because we'll kill everything before they get to us. So go up, no, 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 go up the right side, Royal. Go up the right side so you're with them, so you can't get caught out. Okay, you're fine. I mean, if you want to be with me, it's fine. Go, go do your thing. We'll get to them. We're going to walk through these guys to them, though. Yep, finish it. Someone shoot that. Okay, there's no rush here. Nice and conservative. Mercury me an ult. Give me a chance. Uh, Alright, that's it. That's all there is, is this double boss. So it's nice and chill. Here's the second one right now. I can't remember where this is. Is it here? Oh, I lost him. On me. Rezzer. Right, try to get just one of them from you. I got one. On the beach. I probably lost. I don't want you to go, though. Come back to me, buddy. Okay, I got back. One stab. Ooh, hello. Okay, so the next part is going to be a bit tougher than usual. There'll be more ads than usual. It's chill. It's cool to like chill here for a little bit and pull. So the shotgun or our BOP will shoot one time down to just make sure we pull all those storm vermin way down there. Your goal is to make sure you shoot down there to pull. That's all that matters. Oh, I accidentally fell. Fine. We'll come with you. Go ahead and go through here. Just follow up. Follow us up. Keep coming. Keep coming down. Keep coming. And we can fight here. See how they come to the I'll hold the show for a second, just for ease. Can we see to the back, please? Okay, we're through. Single stun, double stun for the, for the back, there he is. When I'm talking about number of stuns, it's because I'm usually I'm indicating that I'm going to be the second stun. Keep to the left here. 
this is a fine spot to bomb. Still many. Take a slow here, fight. Okay, we're good. We're gonna push through right there. Here we go, here we go. It's fine. Everything's fine. And we're done. Very conservative. All right, good job, boys. Never in doubt. Nicely done. <laughs> Too bad we can't see the end game screen. Can you guys see it, by the way? Uh, the stat screen? Yeah, I can see it. Oh man, it really must be. Um, it must be the mod. Must be the mod. What was I going to ask? How did you do the special sniping? Uh, I had like, I think it was 34. Good evening. All That's good. Well. Well. Alright, how'd it feel? Felt like it went pretty well. Did anyone have any moments where they're like, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing right now? Or is it pretty clear? Mm, I am pretty clear for my role. Well, at least I think so. Alright. Good stuff. It was smooth. Just like. Oh, I crashed. No worries. Alright. I feel like I'm the only one that like, can take care of the Savager. The what now? Zerks. Berserkers. The Merc. The, the, the Blunderbuss versus the, the Berserkers. Yeah, Berserkers. Yeah, by far, you were, the shotgun is the, by far the most efficient answer to them and Maulers in the whole game. So yeah, those are your special, your special job. I remember, like, Excuse and Runner can start, Excuse Runner can stagger the Savage, but not yeah. Berserkers, right? But it's almost like, why stagger when you can literally kill them in one hit? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Let's check pings, by the way. 130, 108. Um, I think I was on like 75. Remake the party, because he's still got the, whatever it's called, little rotating thing. Oh, are you rejoining right now? Lull? Uh, no. Yeah. I think it's. Oh, well, I was. Disregard. Oh. You're that fast? Okay. I think you said you crashed. But I okay. did, yeah. Yeah, I restarted. I actually still see it. Oh, don't join yet. I have to remake right. the lobby. Oh, fuck. Don't wait. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> it's really not much to say. It was very smooth. The one strategic, strategic uh, moment where I'm like, Ugh, was with the Storm Fiend. When you guys kind of set up shop on the opposite side of him, the far side. That end, like, what can often happen, especially if it's a troll or something, but as, or the Storm Fiend when it decides to climb like an idiot is you can get stuck in a situation where you have to give ground because you get another horde with specials or something. And if you have to give ground and the only way to go is towards a dead end or towards new ads, things can get dicey. So when you're playing conservatively, you kind of want to leave yourself... You almost always want to have an escape plan where at all possible. Did I forget to disband? Let's see if it works. <laughs> 